collect the kunai um, and you just lariat because she's got to get close or green oh yeah if it's on the ground green hand if she's not lariat it does need to be t like if you cr if you're crouching initially then he has to get closer to be able to hit you so you crouch until he gets very close and then you lariat and you just stand up and smack him I missed that match That's an event to branch that. Pogo shenanigans. Sorry, what was this? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What was that on Lyria? Yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is, if you are crouching and then you Lariat from crouching, he has to have gotten a lot closer to you to have hit you. So when you Lariat, you instantly stand up and you instantly have a hitbox. So it's... Yeah. So I don't know if it's just timing or... It is, is very much timing. So do you think, like, like, like when would you go I'm speaking. No, no, but you're always speaking. Oh! You're always like, you're doing it. You're like, I'll be you seven, dude. You go off. I'll be you seven. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't do it twice. I don't know what to start up on Mari and stuff. Do you think you should do it early or do you think you should do it? No, no, the thing is, it's the. It's. Yeah. You want to start it as they are there, so that it's like he's in your face, but then it's like it's kind of like you know, an invincible ability moment. Of like you instantly start it at the point where they, yeah. No, you should, no. That's a, I mean that's the thing. That's that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's the thing. That's why you want to be crouching because you can't be hit. You then instantly stand up, gain height, instantly punch them. It's like a not DP. You just gain height and momentum. And by the way, it's probably due to the time everyone's gone. It's probably due to the time, but everyone's left. 
Also, it's probably due to the real talk where you spend like 20 minutes talking about the fighting game scene. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah, it's like fucking quarter to two. Uh, it's 2-1, I believe, if I got this right. So it's 2-1 to Branzar. Uh, blam, blam, slam. Yes, it's two two. Are you ready? Fight! Right. <laughs> Oh. Head stomp. Doesn't look like it's a fucking head stomp because it's just fucking jump right next to him. Still head stomp. Bastard bison. Oh, the trade. And put himself in the corner, he's got a massive lead. Oh no, but... Oh, is this a comeback? Oh, he gets him out of the thing! Oh, it still hits though! So close. So unfortunate. It's pretty much anyone's game from that point. Whichever hit one. Jab, 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 jab. Oh! Hits him and rolls straight through. I think there's an EX one as well. Puts himself in a corner. Doesn't matter. Still got the pressure. Gets around behind him. Gets a good smack in. Jumps in the pogo. Back into the corner. Pushes him away. In a corner, but he's got the life lead. And it pogos! Very even match. Not like the previous 7 0, 7 1s, and 7 2s of the evening. Very good start for Brian. Keeps happening. Barely touches them, barely damages, and just rolls straight under. Even at the life there. Just missed. Still gets a good chunk out of him though. Sean just is struggling. He's barely holding on. He's really trying anything it hits, and there it is. Are you still in your matches, by the way? Are you still doing your uh, best best seven? So he just won that. I missed it. All right. Blam. You. You. Very respectable players at the minute. Well, one of them anyway. <laughs> Oh, the switch to Akuma though. The 
Let's see how this fares for Sean. And a current three loss streak. Oh, probably a good punish for the Pogo in now. DP it. Just happy to sit back and throw his fireballs. And then to not having exactly a projectile game. Stingers. What? Got the corner pressure though. Let's see what he can do from this. Nothing. He gets jabbed out. And he's got barely. Barely a scratch of health there. He's gonna. Oh. Sitting the air too long. Allow the fireball to come slap him in the ass. Having two people that can do mid-air projectiles just makes them sit back and go, well, we're content. Of course, Akuma is being much better from having an actual projectile. Actually landing fireballs as well. Colette is going to have to get in to do something. He can't just sit back and do projectile games because he doesn't really have one. Pogo getting in, rolling away. Rolls under. Getting in doesn't follow up on the wrecker. Sean having a decent time of this. Okay, I have to switch. Not quite being able to get in to do what I wanted to do then. Oh, full screen! But Sean fails to punish. Oh! He's straight into super and that's the round. Sean does still have the full super meter so he's certainly got advantage for the final round. Let's see how they choose to play this. Sean going very aggressive. Push him straight into the corner. Gets switched around, but switches now into a fireball game. Let's see. No. Really kind of gets stuck in now. In the corner. That is fine. Still got full super meter. Valenta still not got anything. Good life feed now for Akuma. Still got some things to play with. Brian just eating fireballs. Rolls in with an ultra. Oh, and it connects! Surprising. And that's... Oh! <laughs> okay! Surprising amount of damage. Sorry. Sean having a not so great start. Content to do the projectile game again. J tries to jump in. Doesn't quite go well. Goes back to range. Very quick way to get back in though. Drops the link though. Let's keep it up! Fight! <laughs> 
Stop with the slow. Going very aggressive from Brian right now. Got the momentum of four win streak now. Oh, he's getting everything!